Hey there, start here. Uh, so as I mentioned in my last video, uh, taking on, on Kefka EXT, where we wiped him off the map in five turns. That was super fun. God, I love, I love Esther. Um, the legend version of, of the Empress's Vengeance is definitely going to be a challenge. Um, she has five HP locks and she basically continues to uh, buff herself with undispellable defense and spirit buffs um, every, you know, every few turns or so. And they get increasingly bigger every, like every five turns or something like that. Um, and so it becomes, she becomes insanely bulky. Let's just, just to put it mildly, she becomes insanely bulky um and trying to get it done in like any of the turn count missions much less the five unit mission uh is, is going to be very very tricky um and so i'm, I'm going to need some time I, I'm, I'm i'm honestly glad that it's not like a day one crush it knock it out of the park this is exactly what i was hoping for i was hoping that she would be a challenging boss and she is so we have something to chew on for the next two months before the game shuts down. Uh, hopefully it won't take that long to finally beat her, but maybe it will. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm, I'm not messing with the Legend version uh, anymore today. I'm, I'm going to save that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chew on it. I'm going to work on it a bit. Um, hopefully we'll figure something out by next week. Uh, but in the meantime, the Pro and Elite versions are very, very simple. Um, the boss is in insanely squishy. Uh, she doesn't really hit all that hard. Um, and it, it's very easy to clear them out. I'm only going to do the elite version. I'm going to show you one team that can do both the elite and the pro version. Very, very easy with just three core units. Um, and, and of course, we're going to bring our, our best bunny girl. Uh, we're going to bring the bunny harem in here. You can bring a friend unit, um, but for the for the elite and pro version, it's, it's probably not necessary. You can bring your own unit and you get the, uh, you get the unit bonuses. So, you know, you, you get... Uh, you get more rewards based on bringing different units to the fight. So you basically can just rotate and, and using your own unit in the companion slot counts for one of those. Um, so w when I cleared this uh, originally, um, you know, I, I used all of these, uh, but the only core units are the first three. So the, um, and I had to go, I had to go with the bunny girls, the original seven star Sylvie, um, the new Esther, which we all have for free, and the Neovision Sylvie, which she can be EX0, that's fine. An EX0 Sylvie is fine, we're not using her brace shift form at all. Um, and then the other two units are, are swappable. I'm of course bringing Esther's because I love Esther. You can, the last three slots, including the companion slot, can be whoever you want, and you can basically repeat this, um, sw you know, swapping out those, those last three slots, and boom, you do that you know, I don't know, uh, four or five times with different units and you should have all your, all your unit mission done. Okay. <laughs> so I'll show you the gear real quick. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. Sylvie, uh, the seven star Sylvie just needs obsidian bracer so that we have, um, the 80%, uh, undispellable attack mag. Basically it's an 80% full break that is undispellable because it's preemptive. So just put that on her and that will, that'll be fine. The rest is honestly whatever um esther just slap some gear on her you know give her stmr some other high attack gear i gave her bunny battle cloak gave her some storm kickers um you can give her you know a bit of bulk if you want some hp just to make sure you know if you're worried she might die give her a nice spread of elemental resists why not go ahead and throw her own vision card on there because it's beautiful why not um and that's all she really needs she hits all the killers innately for this one which um i think are demon human fairy um, so yeah, that's all she really needs. And she's going to be basically carrying the fight with her damage. Um, not using her, her LB though, surprisingly, but you know, you don't need it because these are, are very, very squishy. Um, and then Sylvie, uh, just generally bulk her up. She is going to be your passive provoke unit. So perfect provocation, escape artist to give her full evasion. Make sure she has blizzard orb on her so that she counters. That is important. Um, because it's just, it's just for healing everybody up. Because, you know, the boss will deal some damage to us. Um, and Sylvie will just heal everybody up from it. Um, and the seven-star Sylvie, she might die. That's fine. Sylvie revives her, and you're good to keep on going. All right? Um, and that's all she really needs. Like I said, she can be EX0. Uh, give her a good spread of resists, and she should be just 
fine to go. The rest of the units can be naked. They can be completely naked. Honestly, it doesn't matter. The only thing you really want is you want one of the, th the three remaining units to be able to do triple bolting strike. So make sure at least one of the units has a, a bolting strike ability in their kit that they can do um, and not an LB, uh, just like an ability that they, that they can triple cast. That's all they need to be able to do every turn because you're going to hit HP locks in the Elite version. The Pro version has no HP locks, but the Elite version does have, I think, three HP locks. So this will be a four-turn kill, but it's very easy because once you do turn one, you just hit the repeat button and you go. All right, so let's get in there and see how we do this easy-peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so... Um, all the seven star Sylvie needs to do is just imbue every turn with lightning. Okay, uh, so she's just going to do bolt egg. That's all she's got to do. Uh, Paladin Sylvie is just going to do bum, 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 elemental vines, elemental petals, and compassionate knight. That's all she's got to do every turn. All right, Esther just does triple bolting crash. Uh, this Esther does triple bolting slice. Okay, and yeah, the others can just guard, all right, they can just sit and do whatever, all right? And so this will definitely hit the first uh, uh, HP lock. I even screwed up the chain. We still hit the HP lock. That's how squishy this boss is. Now I'm just going to hit repeat, okay? So yeah, that's a big attack that, you know, kills 7 star Stilvy, but um, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, since Sylvie's provoking all these physicals, she's definitely going to counter and bring Sylvie back to life. Okay, so the <laughs> Sylvie is is the invincible, in, the invincible Sylvie there. All right, so yeah, we just hit repeat. Okay, I probably should have clicked those a little bit faster so that it <laughs> doesn't take so long to do that. I think I might turn the repeat off actually, and then I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit reload, and I'm gonna do all those actions faster so that it doesn't like sit there and hang for for five minutes. <clears throat> so there's the ghastly nightmare, which is whatever we don't care. Okay, Esther brings everybody back if anybody died. Okay, but the units that matter don't die. So I'm going to hit reload. I'm just going to do these faster. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So there's the third and final HP lock for the elite version. Um, oop, let's hit guard. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of single target physicals. Thank goodness they have no accuracy. Hmm. All right, and repeat. And there you go. So there's an easy three unit core team where the three remaining slots, you can just swap those with anybody. Literally anybody, as long as one of them can do a triple bolting strike move to chain with uh, with your Blade Breaker Esther, you're good to go. So uh, go go collect your rewards. You get tons of dark matter uh, in the rewards. So easily you can easily uh, you know easily collect your um, your Dark Visions Greatsword because that is the best in slot for Esther. So definitely go get that. All right. So have fun, guys. Enjoy your weekend. That's pretty much it for me for content for today. Uh, I'm taking the weekend weekend off. I've got some activities uh, planned with my family over the weekend. You know, I'll, I'll work on a couple of other trials and things, you know, just uh, in my free time. But I'm not going to post any content over the weekend. Uh, I'll be back on Monday to start posting new content. So thank you guys so much for following me, and I will see you on the other side.